Let's uh, see if you can install another popular wiki called DocuWiki. Uh, this one is um, pretty robust, more enterprisey with a lot of features like access control list and a uh, um, bunch of a lot of plugins. Maybe the most popular and very user friendly. Um, I couldn't find any uh, official uh, Docker Docker files, so let's go to uh, the Docker Hub. Um, basically, that's the repository of, uh, of Docker images that you can just uh, create your own. You can see this is mine, but uh, you don't have to. You can just gr grab other people's uh, containers. So let's do Docker, Docker Wiki. And notice that you can pick up whatever you want, and I usually you don't want to pick the best one, which is the one that has the most amount of people that's using it, and the pool it or uh, the stars. So let's click on the on this guy, and the first thing you see here is just the namespace of the user, Stefanov, and that's the name of the repo. You can start if you like it. Let's start. It's pretty awesome. Um, and you can read the description here. That's part of the readme. Let's see if it just works. Notice I'm just running uh, using the docker run command. So I don't even have to have a docker file. Uh, it will just know that it's, if it's not on my machine, cache already the docker image, it will grab it from the docker hub. So let's paste it and see. Uh, let's modify this to run on port 80, just for fun. And I already added cache, so it's pretty quick. Uh, it's actually just to uh, run Run it from uh, the cache because uh, the image was already on my hard drive, so I don't need, need to download anything. And you can see it's running on port 80. Uh, let's give it a try. Yep, looks like uh, it's uh, loading it. And let's edit the page, create a fist page. Uh, Let's do a header. Um, you can use Markdown, uh, but it requires a plugin. So I'm not going to use Markdown. And let's hit save. Yep, that's about it. Looks like it's working. 